Expense tracking time. Hi everyone, welcome to Budget of Oz. My name's Sarah, a disabled low income budgeter. And today we're going to do some expense tracking. Um, I'm going to be tracking the um, medication expenses. This is something I've decided to do for 2024 in order to get a really good idea of not just how much I need to be stuffing for my medication, but also the ebb and flow of when there's a lot of money I need versus when I just need a little bit of money here and there. Um, because, you know, medications, some of them I get and I need every month, others... You know, it's every three months, some are every two months. <laughs> so there's this, you know, ebb and flow. And for budgeting, it would be really useful to have that, um, that set of information. So I've decided that this is what I want to track. And I have this lovely, beautiful green A5. Ooh. You have a gem on you that you're not supposed to have. Um, A5 green binder. Oh my god, how gorgeous is this? It is beautiful. Um, that we are going to use to track. Don't know where that little bling came from, but it did. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hole punch. Now, I have a hole punch that does the six punch for the A6s really well. However, it's not very good for doing these A5s. So I have to do it a little bit differently where I kind of line it up. And then kind of got to do it this way. And then and hopefully that will work. Hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. So let's that actually worked first time. I was worried it wouldn't. Um I think I got this on Amazon. I might link it in the description below if you want it. It's a really good six hole punch for um A6s. So you just set it to personal and you can kind of pick um, the different options for six studs. You can also do um, micro and mini and I think it could also do the A7s if I set it smaller. But it's just a really good one to do A6s um, if you want to. I just, yeah, I, I use this. All right. So, actually tracking. So I've made these trackers. Um, they'll be up on my Etsy for a couple of dollars. So I've got the date, the number of prescriptions and the cost. So sometimes I go and I just get one script and it's a lot of money. Sometimes I go and I get five scripts and that's a lot of money so I also want to track how many scripts I'm getting in order to help me then also track you know the money is it that I have to get a lot of scripts at once and it's costing me $150 or is it that one script that like is 60 bucks <laughs> that I have to get just to help me monitor it so I'm just going to go through basically this fortnight's medication um gonna double check over here so okay 
So the fourth. We had one and that was 770. On the which one's next? On the ninth. We had one that was seven seventy as well, and then on the fourteenth, we had one, and that was fifteen ninety eight. So, as you can see, sometimes you know, one script is the same amount. Sometimes it's not the same amount um, and that's just, if you're not from Australia, that's just um, the difference between government rebated medications and non-government rebated medications. Even though all of these are prescribed by doctors for medical purposes, um, some things the government or non-medical professionals say, oh, we don't need to rebate that medication, even though for some people, it's necessary and we need it every day um it's a whole thing <laughs> like the whole with diabetes they'll fund six months worth of um blood glucose strips but not the other six months uh because apparently you only have diabetes for for six months of the year so we kind of have to buy six months worth and make it stretch out or you have to pay a lot of money um yeah that that's just it's not okay um but you know that's what you get when non-medical professionals are making decisions about medical things don't even get me started on the ndis if you would like to hear about my ndis journey and how i handle that i'm happy to share um but i haven't got anything good to kind of I, I don't know if it would be helpful but anyway so for this fortnight here's what I have so far and you're probably going oh why don't you get them all on the same day well it's one of those things that I have a lot of medications and sometimes I'm like oh I've only got two left I'll put in for the script and I'll go get it um but until I realize that I only have a few left I it's like there's, I have a lot of different medications, so this just works for me. I live to like a minute away from my pharmacy, so this is just kind of what I do. Um, I should be probably probably a bit more organized about it, but for me, it's just this is what I do. <laughs> um, all right, so thanks for joining me for this expense tracking. Um, and a little bit of an insight into disabled living, which isn't always as fun as we want it to be. Um, if you like my shorter form content, I'm Budget of Oz everywhere. And I plan to be sharing um, how a cashback app I use for my receipts on TikTok. Now, once I hit a thousand followers, um, so if you're interested and in Australia, are in Australia and are interested in about how to get a rebate for some of your receipts and earn credit towards gift cards, um, yeah, follow me, go over there and follow me, um, there and see some of the content there. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Bye. Bye.